I may be broke, but at least I'm happy. <laughs> we hear a lot about being happy with what we've got growing up. So much so that a lot of us start to feel guilty for wanting more out of life. This concept is talked about so often in our culture that it's the opening lyric to one of the defining songs of my teenagehood. Shout out to Alanis! By the way, I'm Abby and I help business owners build consistent revenue and scale through proven strategies. Make sure to follow me and I'd sure love if you would give this post a like and leave a comment about how this concept has affected your life. When I moved back to Michigan, I was 32 pretty much flat broke, and I was moving in with my dad and my stepmom. Not really where I thought I would be. Let's be honest. When I moved home, I kind of puttered around for a few weeks trying to just straighten out what the heck I was going to do. I really felt pretty broken from the situation I had left in Chicago. Even though it had been a few months since that job, I still was really struggling with just the horrible situation that it was. I didn't really feel ready to dig in and start applying for jobs in marketing or design, which meant I was gonna have to find a different path. And for me, I identified that as an opportunity to get into framing again. I went back to the store that I worked at, the owner still owned it, and she didn't have any positions available at that time, so I started looking elsewhere. I went to Michael's, and I walked in and asked for the framing manager and pretty much got hired on the spot because realistically, custom framing does not pay very well. It's expensive as fuck to get it done, but there's a high overhead, so they're not paying people who do it a whole lot of money. To have someone with experience walk in and say, hey, I'm ready to get paid very little, I want to do this, is like a framing manager's dream. Within a few months, the manager who had hired me switched to a different store that was closer to his home, and I was offered the position, and I stayed there for quite a while. And this is basically when I decided I was going to embrace the broke but happy life, which is very romanticized and sounds much better than it is. But for a couple of years through meeting my husband, moving in together, and getting married, we actually did have a really nice broke but happy life. Until we didn't. And when I got out of my... And when I got my head out of my ass and I realized we couldn't be just barely scraping by for the rest of our life, that's when I started my online entrepreneurship journey. And one that's a very different business model than what I'm doing now. But it got me here and it's helped me find success in the process. What are your thoughts on being broke but happy? I honestly think that broke but happy is a concept that we're sold so that we don't try and better our lives. And I'm over it, and I'm working to actually build an income that makes me happy. And no, I don't mean that money will make you happy, but money will buy you the things and experiences that make you happy.